Good evening and a very warm welcome indeed. Nice and easy does it tonight. We're on an Easter Sunday. Hope you're having a peaceful day and enjoyed your family day. Or if you're on your own, bless your hearts. And hopefully uh, I'll keep you company for a few minutes now and warm you up with the cockles of my ears, as they say. And I'm going to give you four horses for Easter Monday, bank holiday. Two at Cork, uh, big honour, over there in Ireland. No doubt about that. That's my happy hunting ground over there in Ireland. And I shall be giving you two beautiful horses there running late on uh, tomorrow afternoon on Monday, of course, bank holiday Monday. And also two horses in a former town that I resided in, which was Chepstow. Many happy memories of that beautiful South Wales town. And I can tell you've got two horses there which have got outstanding chances as well. So you may want to put them into a lucky 15 or have your doubles and trebles, a Yankee, whichever way you want to play it. If you've been wondering where I've been, well, I've not been anywhere. I've been working very hard and I've been looking after my private clients. And I've also been introducing, uh, well, what is going to be, there's no doubt about that, the most successful and biggest, biggest telegram racing channel in the country. If you're not already aware of it, I do now operate a free-to-air telegram channel which has been churning out winners faster than you can say dry roasted nuts. Yesterday, I can tell you, on Saturday, I gave a horse which won at 14 to 1, absolutely bolted up, and also a horse which won the big race up north at Newcastle, which won at 11 to 1, a horse called Enemy. Those two horses absolutely did the business 14 to 1 and 11 to 1 and besides one other horse which won at 5 to 2 and when they win at 5 to 2 that seems commonplace I can tell you that just to give you a quick clue and I'll give you these four horses in just one moment but it's a great pleasure to be back with you um, you're just witnessing my office in the background and there is another video that I've put out here a couple of days ago which gave you a bit of a tour of my office if you've not already got that you can find that on the video vault and that was a tour of my office which uh, is Essentially, essentially, is a very interesting reading. I've had lots of good feedbacks from it, and it goes back way in time to my days working with the bookmakers 30, 40 years ago almost. So if you've not watched that, give it a watch. It's about 10 minutes, and I'm sure it's be interesting viewers viewing and tells you all about my days uh, working with uh, some of the biggest names in the business but also the racing posts and uh, much much more throughout the industry i've been in 50 years i've been 50 years in this industry of horse racing all the way through from racing on track as a tic tac and clark all the way then to being a self-employed odds consultant and then to be a tipster high profile and then managing other tipsters managing ex-jockeys who wanted to uh, create an income through being tipsters and so much more. It's all about that on that video. If you want to give it a look, give it a read, and give it a watch, <laughs> more to the point. And uh, it's quite interesting viewing, as I say. Well, my Telegram channel, if you want to join it, you can click the link below. It's absolutely free of charge. All my Easter Bunny, Easter Monday Bunny Vets will be on there. And as I say, Saturday was a, an absolute blistering day. No more than any others, because this week already I've had a 20 to 1 winner on there. Horse called Pleasantly Surprised It Is Proud. I can tell you that. I give that as a free bet. Horses other than that, which we've won, I'm just looking at a list here, which uh, your Warriors Story, which won at 13 to 2, On We Go at 7 to 2, Seven Brothers was an 11 to 1 winner. Remember, these were all free of charge on the one and only Telegrams Club uh, that I'm running. Four to More was a winner this week at 7 to 2, along with Sky Cutter, and a 10 to 1 double with Empire State of Mind, which won at 5 to 2 as well. Fat Gladiator at 4 to 1. Uh, Horses like Johnson Blue, 6 to 1 into 11 to 4. That was another winner there. Pleasantly surprised, 20 to 1 this week, as I say. And then yesterday, there's been a lot more than that, but yesterday, uh, a lovely, lovely big winner with a horse called Enemy, which I sent out free of charge on the one and only Telegram Club that I run. And that won at 11 to 1, nearly by four length at Newcastle. And the horse uh, Cogent, which won at 12 to 1, come 14 to 1 advised Saturday morning. So it's a license to print money. Other horses which have come in placed and winning are Dirty Leeds at 22 to 1, Bermeo won at 7 to 2, Masabi 20 to 1 each way. I'm just looking down the list here Aquaplano 9 to 1, and onward and onward and onward. But the key thing is for you, if you want my ream gear, my best information, without having to pay for it right now, it's free. It's free. And there are nearly 800 people already in. 800 people are in the doors of my telegram service in no time at all. It's the biggest telegram service in the country. It's tipping more winners than any other service in the country. No doubt about that. As I say yesterday, 14 to 1 and 11 to 1, big race winner. 
free of charge. You can't find it anywhere else. It doesn't exist. If you want to be a part of it on Telegram, it's easy to be a part. I'm sure you understand how to do it. But if you don't, well, you just download it, an app like WhatsApp or anything like that, and the rest is history. You just click on that link and it'll tell you what to do. No problem at all. I'd love to get you in on board. It's free of charge. You get plenty of action. It all begins at 8 o'clock every morning. 8 o'clock every morning, I'm online till late at night. 8 till late. And I'm with you all day, passing information through as it comes through to you. Extra betting opportunities all over the place. That bet yesterday was a free bet, 11 to 1, of course, called Enemy. And, uh, well, absolutely bolted up. I sent it out about an hour and a half before race time. Once I've got the green light and there was never a moment's worry, was it? For hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. I think it was something like 650 people got on that one. And, uh, well, I wish you well to wear it. I wish you well to wear it, they used to say. I wish you well to wear it. So get on board the Telegram. Get on board. Get on board. Click it. Get in live side for free. We're approaching a 1,000 members after this video is done. I'm sure we'll be up to the 1,000 soon. And uh, it couldn't be in better hands, could it? I'm looking after you throughout the year ahead with all your night racing, with all your summer jumps, with all the flat. You've got the Royal Ascot, everything. I'll mark your card on the whole jam lot. Get on board on the telegram it's the way i'm going with it and if you want to be with me free of charge that's the way to go get on the telegram get on board right no time to lose now shall we kick on oh, i think we should right i've got four bets it's great to be back with you it really is now before we go any further let me tell you i'm not coming on here every day this is a one-off at the moment to come on here because all my information is on the telegram so don't think i'm coming on every day because i'm not it's going to confuse things Telegram is where you'll find me. Telegram, which is free. Telegram Peter. Simple as that. I'm not coming on here daily. I'm not. It's too busy. I'm with Telegram all the way now. It's going to be massive. So if you want to be with me, Telegram's a place and I'm not charging a copper coin for it. So get yourselves on board the Telegram Peter channel. Click on the link below. As I said, this is a one-off coming for Easter Monday to treat you. All my Telegram bets will be online at 8 o'clock in the morning, but you need to join and get on board to make sure you don't miss out. Where am I going to take you first, day? Eh? I'm going to take you to Cork on Easter Monday, Bank Holiday Monday. I'm going to take you for two horses that have not been priced up by the bookies yet. So we don't know what price they're going to be. But what I do know is I think they've got an amazing chance of winning. So I'm not going to go in too deep about it because I don't know what price they're going to be. Number three is called Earl of Desmond in the 409 at Cork, right? Earl of Desmond... Not the Duke of Earl, not the Earl of uh, what, Mountbatten, Lord Mountbatten. Earl of Desmond, the Earl of Desmond, D-E-S-M-O-N-D, -E -S Earl of Desmond. Trained by Dennis Paul Murphy over in Ireland. And uh, this horse has won all its three point to points, I can tell you. And the last one wasn't too long ago. Should be a bit too good for these. Number three, Earl of Desmond. I don't know what price it's going to be. There's ten runners go to post. It's a maiden hunter chase. And uh, there we go, the Duke of Earl, Earl of Desmond, number three in the 409 at Cork. It might be an each way backable price. It might be to win. I'm going all in. Pot, I think it'll win. And it's a big treat for you on Easter Monday there, number three, Earl of Desmond. Let's stay in that uh, lovely town of Cork and go to the 444, which is the next race on the card. And again, this is a hunter chase. So I'm going for two hunters. We're going to hunt them up. Not that I'm a big fan of hunting, I've got to tell you, it's not my scene at all. I don't like it, and I certainly never would support it. And uh, I'm going to have a bet in these horses, because they're not the hunters. The people who ride them are the hunters, aren't they? The horses just have to do as they're told, unless they unseat their jockeys into the brook, which would be quite nice, wouldn't it? would be nice to soak them and the chasing that poor little fox. Anyway, number three, it's came to pass, is my horse. It came to pass. Trained by Eugene M. O'Sullivan. There's a name for you. Number three, it came to pass. It's in a seven-runner affair, the 444 at Cork. 444 at Cork. Uh, again, I don't know the price, but I don't care what the price is. I think it'll win. It's number three, it came to pass. If it's an each-way backable price, then each way. If it's not, I'm going all in win, because I think it'll win. The horse is a very, very useful indeed. It's won its last two point to points. It's got a bit of a name in the point-to-point -point field, and I think it'll be too good for these. So that's number three. It came to pass in the 445, 444, beg your pardon, at 
Cork over there in Ireland. Okay, which leaves me back at my old haunt where I used to live for many, many years. And that is the beautiful town in South Wales of Chepstow. So we're going to go there now and I'm going to give you two horses. The first one is in the 235 at Chepstow. Should be an each way price this. I'm hoping for six to one, seven to one, something around that mark. But because I'm trans transmitting this message a little bit early on Easter Sunday, then uh, I'm not sure. So I'm just going to have to leave that with you. And obviously you know what you're doing. So I'm going to just leave it with you. If you, you know, I think it's got a great chance of winning. Uh, if you go in and back it each way, then obviously it needs to be about nine to two, four to one, nine or two or bigger, which I think it probably will be. It's number seven anyway. It's called Iron Heart, not Iron Man, Iron Heart, not Lionheart, Richard the Lionheart, Iron Heart. Trained by Pipe, David Pipe, bang in form, had another winner today, Pipey, and ridden by young Fergus Gullard, who usually rides this horse. Uh, number seven, Iron Heart. Got the best ground it could have for this one. I hope the ground stays as it is at Chepstow. I think it'll take a lot of beating. And the 235 at Chepstow, Iron Heart is the one to be on there. Now, the final bet runs in the 455 at Chepstow. Let me just tell you once again, the Talagam Tran Channel, right, doesn't have these horses on. It has my personal bets on there. It has all sorts of things going on on there. Big price winners. And they're not on here. And I'm not on here. I've only popped on here to say hello to you, to give you a chance to get in the telegram. I'm not on here. I've come on here to say hello. Wish you a happy Easter. Hope you're having a lovely, peaceful time. But if you want my information free on telegram, you know what to do. Click the link below. These are not the bets which are on Telegram, okay? So let's get that right. These are bets which have come as a just a, a friendly gift to you, and I think they've got great chances, but they're not the strongest possible advices, all right? So if you want the best bets, if you want the strongest bets, you've got to join Telegram, and I've done you a right favour. I've already done the members of it a real big favour with two huge winners again yesterday at 14s and 11s. It's been a massive, massive start. It's been in operation about three weeks. There's nearly 800 members. They've all been mopping up. I think I've had something like 25 winners already in no time at all and some real big ammunition. So if you want to be a part of that, I won't be on this line tomorrow or for the foreseeable future. You need to join the Telegram and get yourselves and dip your bread in there. It's absolutely free of charge. Okay, the final bet is number three. It's called King Dargent. Goes in the 455 at Chepstow. Seven horse affair. Should be an each way price. Four to one, nine to two, quarter of the odds, one, two. Can't see it being out of the frame. Can see it winning. Dan Skelton's horse, ridden by his brother Harry. Looks all over a winner off a mark of 138 to me. I'm on it. 455 at Chepstow. And there we go. You've got four beautiful bets there. Kensitus. Four for your friends. Anyone remember that? They were four cigarettes in a packet you could buy. I don't smoke, but four cigarettes you could buy, and they're called Kensitus, and they advertised in it called Four for Your Friends. There we go. So I've given you four, and uh, there we go. Iron Heart, King Dargent. Don't miss that. The Earl of Desmond, whatever you do, looks like a put it down and pick it up job at Cork, and it came to pass. Wow. So there we go. And if that's going to be big, what is big already? Is something you need to be in. It's called the Telegram. I'll speak to you again soon on here, but I'm not sure when. But I'm online every day at eight o'clock in the morning until late, eight till late, on the one and only Peter's Racing Tips, and it is the Telegram.